Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Shu Qi Zhang, a research engineer working at Fligi Alibaba Groups, one of the leading online travel platform in China. And it is an honor to present to you today. I'll be discussing the collaborative effort with my colleagues, uh, Xiao Wendong, Huang Zhiyi, and Yu Yao. Our work titled Multi-Scenario Pricing for Hotel Revenue Management addresses a challenging issue in the dynamic pricing domain of hospi hospitality revenue management. Okay, let's begin by diving into the motivation. Here's the agenda of the contents I'm talking about today. And many online travel platforms use a multi-channel distribution mode to improve exposure and brand awareness so as to reach potential customers and cover more market demand. At Fliggy, we have three distribution scenarios, one at Fliggy itself, another at Gaudu, and map Sorry for interrupting. Uh, can you please move on? Uh, we don't see the right screen slides. Oh, OK, sorry. Um, on, is everything good right now? Yeah, it's better. Can you put uh, on full screen, please? Um, I just put the full screen, but it just uh, did not okay. like sleep. Leave it, uh, leave it this way. Thank okay. you. OK, let's continue. Uh, many online travel platforms use a multi-channel distribution mode to improve exposure and brand awareness so as to reach potential customers and cover more market demand. At Fliggy, we have three distribution scenarios, one at Fliggy itself, another one at Gaodu, which is a map app, and Ashin. Uh, which is a downstream travel product distributor. And all these scenarios share similarities of uh, market demand, hotel characteristics, and contextual environment, while with some distinctions of pricing power, availability of response data, and target customer consumption habits. Um, our aim is to explore dynamic pricing method that can adapt to multiple scenarios and help to increase revenue. And some of the previous related work has paved the way for our research and inspired us. These dynamic pricing methods can be summarized as model-driven approaches and data-driven approaches. For the model-driven ones, uh, they perform revenue management based on the estimated demand function with explicit um, parameters and thus has um, restricted modeling ability. And for the data-driven approaches, they utilize machine learning techniques to predict the optimal price based on the uh, factors that influence the demand. However, they consider dynamic pricing in multiple scenarios solely on its own data of each scenario and ignore the shared information across. And here are some references. And bearing this in mind, our research tackles the specific problem, how to decide take home price and also reserve price in different scenarios simultaneously by leveraging all the market response data and capture the shared information as well as the scenario specific knowledge uh, which can be summed up like this. Mm. Okay. And the complex information extraction, while being careful of the domain CISO problem, are the core problems we address in our study. And this leads us to the core of our presentation, our methodology. And we employ a multi-scenario pricing approach, leveraging the state-of-the-art deep learning techniques tailored for the real-world application in the hotel revenue management. The whole process can be summarized as shown. The input features including hotel profile, context features, demand features, and the competitiveness features. Taking this as the input, MSP then gives a good day prediction and as QI and the parameter estimated uh, of the price adjustment curve. And the good day probability is defined as the prob of a listing to game room night booking higher than its past month average. 
and the demand curve V is centered around one and the alert parameter alpha and beta controls its slope and intercept accordingly. And uh, the capital A is the hyperparameter that shapes the curve bent. To give a more intuitive sense, um, I put several, I plot several V curve under different parameter combinations. And here's the overall model framework. Uh, it composes the demand representation extraction module marked in orange and the price competitiveness representation module marked in blue, as well as the upper tower part that learns the price adjustment curve. And for the DRE, the demand representation extraction module, uh, it is inspired by PLE, which is a multitask learning module for the personalized recommendation proposed by Tencent in 2020. As shown, there are N plus one experts in each layer corresponding to N scenarios, and the extra one is the shared expert. They are responsible for extracting the scenario-specific scenario information, and each gate learns a prob probability distribution and controls how much each expert contributes to the scenario. As we can see, scenario-specific experts only, uh, uh, only absorb the output from its specific expert and the shared one, while the shared expert absorb all the information from the previous um, layer. And for the PCRE, uh, it is composed of PCR, uh, PCE and PCI two parts. The structure of PCE is at the bottom right corner. PCE is designed to capture price competitiveness uh, from three dimensions, uh, including internal, external, and the listing self competitiveness. And inspired by MOE, we designed PCI, uh, which can better integrate the three competitiveness representation and extract deeper information through multiple MLPs. And finally, in the upper part of MSP, each scenario has three tower modules, which learns alpha, beta, and the group day probability separately. And we can finally calculate the price adjustment factor according to the empirical function we explained before. And then we measure the offline performance of our approach through rigorous metrics. Since we never have a precise label for the optimal price, we need more effort when it comes to the performance evaluation. At the left-hand side, there are the, uh, there are the metrics proposed by Airbnb in 2018, and it is widely used for the offline evaluation of dynamic pricing methods. However, these metri metrics fall short since it ignores the sample imbalance Let's say when we have an extreme decreasing preferred strategy, that might give uh, like 99% of PDR and might have a 1% of BR, which is a quite good uh, strategy according to the old original metrics. However, when we apply it on a sample set, when it is mostly composed of a good day listings, it can be a light mayor. To deal with this, we proposed a more synthetic metric, including PRFW and P BRW. And we introduced a factor W, which is the proportion of bad day listing in our sample set to integrate PDR and PIR and to help us gain a more reasonable evaluation of our model. And to further substantiate our claims, allow me to share the experimental outcomes of our real world data tests. Uh, since MSP is the first multi-scenario pricing model to the best of my knowledge, we firstly perform comparison on the open resource, the single scenario pricing data set. And we can find that it dominates any other the baseline models. And then we compared 
MSP with the baseline models on the multi-scenario pricing data set, which is the first real world multi-scenario pricing data set uh, that has been open resourced along with this paper. And MSP gains um, improvements under the three scenarios, which validates its effectiveness and it can perfectly avoid the domain CISO problem. And besides the impressive improvement in scenario C with overall good performance shows the advantageous information extraction ability of our model. And apart from this, we also applied ablation study and the results are summarized here. It was noticed that MSP without PCRE has a serious performance degradation in scenario A with W uh, equals to like 0 0.001, uh, 0001 and um, W equals to 0 0.1777. And um, it's intuitive since scenario A is flaggy itself, which has the richest response data among, and therefore it benefits least from the shared information extracted by the DRE and relies more on the PCRE module instead. And besides MSP without DRE, uh, the PRFW of scenario ABC drops uh, by 1%, 5.3% uh, 5, uh, 5 and 14% respectively, along with the expert utilization of different scenarios. We can see it from the uh, plot at the left-hand side, which is positively correlated with the scenario response data sparsity. And this can validate the effectiveness of DRE that extract scenario specific infos as well as the shared informations. And finally, as the diagram shows here, a four week online A-B test executed, is executed. And we can tell that the GMV uh, got in some improvement and under all the three different scenarios. And here's some conclusions and that's all the presentation. And thank you very much for your time. And do you have any questions?